not exactly knowing how much work I'll get done today but I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the process taking things apart so that I can uh, go ahead and replace the rear bearings in here instead of procrastinating on them so that things don't get worse so they don't end up making things worse for myself on the line and plus I'm tired of hearing the bearings or if it's not the bearings finding out what it really is so oh, there it is that comes well looks like I may need to go ahead and consider new brakes in the rear eventually very soon eventually so but daughter will be happy that this is getting done simply because somebody was so excited about working on her car that she wanted to skip school so she could start working on it now i don't mind the enthusiasm but we're not skipping school so that's all right at least i know that she will want to work on her car and not just uh let it sit but she's got a lot of enthusiasm to work on that car turning it into her own <clears throat> so i ain't got to worry about that which is good Let's just see how long that lasts. And it looks like this rear disc brake might need to be changed also. I don't know what's going, going on with them. I don't know what's going on with them, but uh, we will find out. Okay, so we are under here. Got some of the bolts loose. I gotta go and get, you know, half inch wrench for those but we get this much closer get the oil out of this thing and i'm gonna hate that smell but you know whatever all right you gotta do what you gotta do to get the thing done so one step closer all right let's get this thing out of here and obviously you can see that if you watch the cutlasses video versus this video you understandably see <laughs> the differences between the undercarriages the undercarriage on that car is in great condition versus the undercarriage in this car which obviously i'm pretty sure you can see a good majority of it from right there is in not so great condition Ugh. all right we're gonna have to get bigger tools because i think they i bet you the previous owner rtv'd this thing together instead of using it just to put the the dag on i bet you they did because i'm finding what well, looks like possibly witness marks. How these are flanged out from being torqued on like I was just doing. And thinly, I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. Those are kind of freaking sharp right there. It's jagged also, so we're gonna go find something else to see if we can carefully separate. Make these two pieces, uh, separate for a while be right back all right let's see if we can make a divorce here happen but this see i should have really honestly taken another day or two before i should have uh um yeah don't cringe too much as you see me do this um 
Should have honestly taken another day or two before I'd done something like this, simply because my surgery was a blessing and a curse in disguise. Simply being that the blessing is, it don't hurt really no more to get up and move around. You know, leg pain, foot pain, all that crap went away. That's the problem also, that stuff went away. So now, I feel like I have to always be moving and doing something. So, I did something the past couple days ago, pinched a nerve or whatever. I have a hard time moving, or not really moving, but a hard time getting up from a seated position or whatnot. But yet, I still feel the need. Uh oh, here we go. And there we go. I still feel the need to get up and move around and it hurts like the devil. But that's the hard headed part. Oh, yeah, I don't miss that smell at all. Not whatsoever. Alright. So, but yeah, I really shouldn't be doing this today, but I really can't bring myself to just sit on my butt anymore. Alright. Don't let that drain get that last bolt out of there. Oh, that stuff stinks. All right, let's see if we can make a divorce here happen. But this, see, I should have really honestly taken another day or two before I should have, uh, um, yeah, don't cringe too much as you see me do this. Um, should have honestly taken another day or two before I'd done something like this, simply because my surgery was a blessing and a curse in disguise simply being that the blessing is it don't hurt really no more to get up and move around you know leg pain foot pain all that crap went away that's the problem also that stuff went away so now I feel like I have to always be moving and doing something so I did something the past couple days ago, pinched a nerve or whatever. I have a hard time moving, or not really moving, but a hard time getting up from a seated position or whatnot. But yet, I still feel the need. Uh oh, here we go. And there we go. I still feel the need to get up and move around and it hurts like the devil. But that's the hard headed part. Alright. Oh, yeah, I don't miss that smell at all. Not whatsoever. Where my tools go? <clears throat> this stuff is so slow to move. This where's the definition of molasses? Oh, there we go. Might have just been a clock. Well, it all looks good so far. Can't really see any major signs of damage. Um, you know, no teeth are chipped or broken or anything like that. Um, so now we just got to get the 
axles out of there and then move on well looking inside the differential cover the magnet has collected somewhere but as we see there's no major chunks and shiny medical metal medical medical yeah metal particles in there that will uh show me but that looks like it may be normal wear um i have my doubts that this this rear end was rebuilt within the past 200,000 miles that are on this car um so it looks like it was just uh basically maintained and if that was the case that makes it it should still be okay so let's figure out how to get these axles out of that rear end and go from there all right you probably can't see much but it took me a second to work on this because it was almost as if somebody else had been here and rounded off the bolt but I should say this is kind of par for the car so oh. hey. Not exactly the best love tap device in the world, but it'll do. Come on. There we go. That is not doing too much. All right, we got the pins out and we got the uh. Ooh, that does not look good at all. Alright. Well. The good thing is to find you a spot. Good thing is I have a repair bearing that will go in there and take care of that for a while so that I don't have to worry too much about the axle being worn into but it is going to be a very, very serious consideration for the next replacement. But we're gonna get this done now. We're gonna get these bearings replaced now. And then uh, we will go from there, all right? Several airplanes. One, two, and three. I got them into the uh, car today. But what was really nice about the car ride is that although I think the drive shaft is what's making noise, when I get up to highway speeds, 75, my, seven, 70, 75, all that noise goes away. There's zero bearing noise from any of the wheels. The drive shaft doesn't make any noise, which I think it's the drive shaft because it only does it at 60 and under acceleration. Take the take my foot off the gas and it stops making noise. So that's going to be the next thing to look into. Uh, probably a new carrier bearing and uh, U joints just because um, that's going to be 
sad to say but a cheaper route to go simply because at, the, at this point in time i'm not going to go ahead and uh, do the one piece drive shaft unless i can find one at a you know pretty much a steel uh, even if it is a steel drive shaft single piece drive shaft um, i'd go that route instead but i'll look around and see what i can find first before i you know invest money into a two-piece so yeah those three airplanes in that spot later on today after uh get done helping uh the daughter clean up the cutlass a little bit we'll uh maybe try to get a bigger airplane in there and see if we can it's gonna be a tight fit but i have my doubts even if that seat's all the way forward like that i still don't think even if i snake that tail all the way forward or even put the nose forward lay it down there's no way this that airplane's way too big but it's going to be a challenge so see what we can do just for the fun of it later oh man i also realized that i didn't make it in this this also will be the uh outro for doing the rear bearings of the yeah video that i made last night because i realized i didn't complete it I went ahead and finished the rear bearings up. I didn't really do any video of it. I just wanted to get it done. So they're finished. They're nice and quiet. Couldn't ask for anything more. Have a good one. Talk to you later.